and welcome to today's Zoo to You. My name is Katie and I'm an educator here at Stone Zoo. And today I am so excited to be introducing all of you to my friend Koopa here. And that is Koopa spelled K-U-P-A. And Koopa is a leopard tortoise. So today she is out getting some exercise in our Animal Discovery Center, which is a really great form of enrichment for Koopa, getting some time to explore. So we're going to be offering her some food today, watching her get some exercise, and talking all about her really incredible adaptations. So if you do have any questions about Koopa, I would love to answer them. So please type away in the chat and we'll try to answer them during our video today. Koopa is 21 years old, which may sound old for an animal, but leopard tortoises can live between 80 and 100 years. So she is a young lady in tortoise years. I'm gonna give her some kale, see if she's interested. She's normally very food motivated, but I think she's just having a lot of fun exploring right now. Uh, leopard tortoises, like a lot of tortoise species, have a really incredible sense of smell. So there are lots of smells in this room. She's out walking, smelling lots of new things. And that sense of smell is how leopard tortoises are going to find food when they're in their natural habitat. So they're native to Central and Southern Africa and they're commonly found in dry savannas, and they're a pretty abundant species there. Let's see if she wants any kale. Um, so in their natural range, they're going to be eating lots of grasses, flowers, and even succulents and cacti. And here at the zoo, you might see all these little bits of green. I'm trying to do a scatter feed, but she is not interested. Um, so she kind of gets what we call a tortoise salad here at the zoo. So lots of leafy greens, shredded carrot, timothy hay, reptile pellets, and then she can also get novel foods. Oh, there she goes. And novel foods are basically a treat. So foods that we don't feed the animals very frequently, but are a special treat for them. So some of Koopa's favorite novel foods are um, different flowers in the summer. She also likes <laughs> some apple and beets and occasionally small pieces of squash or pumpkin. Since she is an herbivore, all of those plants are really, really delicious for her. So she's just using that sense of smell I mentioned to find all these little tasty greens scattered around. <laughs> so Koopa, you might be wondering what the difference is between a turtle and a tortoise. And since she's so active right now, this is a really great chance to see some of those differences. So you might notice that she has pretty long, stumpy legs. And that is generally a characteristic of tortoises. Um, her back feet also have some, <laughs> some pretty long claws on <laughs> She is just sliding that food dish right around. I'm gonna hold it in place for her. <laughs> So you can also see she's got some pretty long nails on her back legs there, and that is for digging. Typically, turtles spend more time in the water or they're almost fully aquatic, while tortoises are usually only found on land, not near water. So that's why they have the stumpy legs and the claws for digging on land. Um, turtles, you'll usually see, not all the time, but typically you'll see that they have uh, webbed feet or even fins for being in the water. And tortoises typically have a domed shell. That means that their shell comes up really high. It's almost like an egg. And typically turtles are going to have a flatter, more streamlined shell. So that can aid in swimming through the water. It just makes them a little bit more streamlined in the water. I'm gonna give her salad some toppings here. So you can see she also gets some dry Timothy hay that helps with her digestion, um, helps give her lots of healthy fiber, and she is very food motivated. She is chowing down on her breakfast today. <laughs> uh, so one of my favorite adaptations about leopard tortoises um, are their defense adaptations. So we know that when turtles or tortoises are scared, 
that they can tuck their arms and legs in their shell and they can tuck their head in their shell. You'll see that Koopa has lots of really thick scales on her arms here, and that's like tortoise armor. So if she's really scared, she'll tuck her head in and then draw those arms up over her head to protect her. But leopard tortoises have another really cool adaptation. It's a pretty gross one. It's really fascinating. Um, so when they're in their natural range and eating lots of fresh plant matter that has lots of water in it, so even all this kale, and leafy greens has lots of water in it. They have the ability to store that water in sacs in their abdomen. And these sacs in their abdomen can get really, really big and it takes up almost their entire abdomen. When they are threatened by a predator, they have the ability to release all of that water from those anal sacs in their abdomen and totally just cover their predator in all of that water. So that will make them lighter and a little bit easier for them to get away. And it will also probably scare and maybe even gross out that predator so they can <laughs> protect themselves. So I just think that's a really cool adaptation. Of course, they don't want to lose all that water. Um, that is there, just like a camel's hump serves a purpose. That's there in case resources are hard to come by and they need to you know, use some of that water that's stored up within their body. Their primary defense is going to be camouflage, and that's how they get that name leopard tortoise. You'll see all of these brown, black, tan, and yellow spots all over Koopa's body. Um, so just like a leopard spots, that's how they get their name leopard tortoise, and this just helps them blend into that really dry and arid savanna that they are native to. And Rachel, have we had any questions come in that I could answer? Uh, yes. Are they endangered? That's oh, one of the questions. That's a good question. So they are not an endangered species. However, most species of tortoises are threatened by habitat loss and degradation. Um, so that's true for leopard tortoises. As humans encroach more and more on their habitat, it's just a little bit harder for them to find places to live. Um, another threat to leopard tortoises is the pet trade. And that's true for other species of tortoise as well. They are very popular pets. Um, however, as I mentioned earlier, they can live 80 to 100 years. So it's really important if you do decide to get an animal like a tortoise or a turtle as a pet, to do your research, look at their lifespan, and make sure that you can take care of that animal for their entire life. Just like with a lot of macaw species, people with these tortoises often have to write them into their wills because they will typically outlive their owners, which is really amazing. Um, so they don't make the, great, the greatest pets. If you do decide to get one as a pet, another pointer would be to do your research and to make sure that the animal you are getting as a pet was born under human care and was not illegally taken from the wild, since that is a threat to them. And Jacqueline was wondering, how long does Koopa sleep for? That's a good question. So Koopa is primarily crepuscular, um, so that means she's usually active <laughs> between dawn and dusk. Um, she does sleep, she's on a more like diurnal schedule just like we are, so she does sleep a lot at night. Um, she does have like lots of balls that she plays with as enrichment items, and I've seen her sleeping with her head resting on them, which is really, really cute. Um, so she does snooze quite a bit. She'll probably take a nice long nap after getting all this exercise today. And we had a couple of folks ask how old she is. She is 21 years old. Um, so she still has another 80 or so years left to live, which is a really long time. Are there other forms of enrichment that she gets? Um, so the scatter feed like we did today is really great and getting exercise, those are her favorite things to do. It is, even though today's a little bit warmer, it's still too cold for Koopa to go outside since she is cold blooded. However, in the summer, she loves being outside. So we actually change her um, home over to an outdoor enclosure in the summer and she is outside all day long, exploring, finding grass to eat, all sorts of things. So she loves being outside. 
Um, she also lives in our animal discovery center with lots of other animals. So just being around them is really great enrichment for her and all the other animals, like her neighbor, Alfredo, the Eastern Screech Owl. They get to spend lots of time in each other's company. <laughs> and let's see, there was just a question that came in about how big do they get? And can you remind us what the lifespan is? So the lifespan is between 80 and 100 years. Um, for their size, they usually top out at around 40 pounds. I believe Koopa's around 15 pounds. So she's a little on the smaller side. Um, I have seen that there have been occasional leopard tortoises found that were around 80 pounds, um, but they're kind of outliers in that range. They're just exceptionally large. They are the second largest mainland tortoise species in Africa. Um, they're second to African spur thigh tortoises, which you can see on exhibit at Stone Zoo once it gets warmer out. Um, we have three males here, so you can see the largest, and here on Facebook Live today, you can see the second largest in Africa. Great, I think we have time for one more, and Jacqueline asked if she likes to be pet. Uh, that's a good question, Jacqueline. So some of her caretakers here have found kind of like the tortoise scratchy spot on Koopa. She doesn't do it for me. Um, so tortoises and turtles can feel anything as light as a feather touch the outside of their shell. So she can feel me touching. Occasionally with tortoises, you can find a spot on their shell kind of near the back that feels really good, just like scratching a dog's behind. You can kind of scratch your tortoises and they'll do the tortoise wiggle and kind of wiggle their butt all over the place. She's not doing it for me right now. So I don't have the special touch, but some of her caretakers do, and I've seen her do her little wiggle for that, and that's just um, some body language showing that it feels really good, um, kind of scratching her back. So I would say she does enjoy being pet. Great, I think that's all the time all we right. have. Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. Please make sure to check back for our next live Zoom to you. Bye.